Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play EU4 Byzantine Succession. I am the Musical Gamer, and I have come back! <laughs> and, uh, apparently, it actually hasn't been that long. I released from when I last left off. It doesn't look like Miswan got much time, which is uh, kind of a shame for him. But <laughs> that means I get to uh, wreak havoc again as a Byzantine Empire. So, let's have some fun, and let's see what we can do. Um, I'm curious to see how the world has changed in the... I, I, what is it, about like 16 odd years or so that I've been gone? Doesn't really look like much has changed. Uh, other than the fact that Muscovy is now Russia. That's that's probably the biggest change. Uh, Morocco is slowly taking over Africa. And everything else seems the way it is. So, I'm curious as to what in God's name happened to our army? Our army's like it's it's gone I I don't know I don't understand how how did this happen uh, we have a massive Navy still which is great but we have no army uh, we also have superior unit types apparently uh, what do we have leather cannon sure give me that we can make states Libyan desert that is still this province I think um, as far as expansion it doesn't look like Miswan got much done. Uh, he took over some parts of Ragusa, which is great, because that was going to probably be one of my next targets anyway. And it also looks like he took over Theodoro, which is fine. More land is always good, and I can't remember if I'm the one who took Rosetta and Alexandria, or if he did. Just recently. I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm going to assume he did, because I, I don't remember taking this land from the Mamluks. Uh, when do we have a we have a truce with them. Uh, yeah, no, he definitely did. He definitely did that, because they we still have a truce with them for two more years. Allied with Shamar. Uh, well, that's their, that's their stuff. Okay, so what do we want to do? First points of concern, I think, is Jeremy and Trebizond. I, I'm going to have to integrate these guys. I was thinking it to myself before I died uh, last time. And it, I think it just has to be done. So how much is it going to cost? 580 points at 8 per month. How much are we making a month? 10. That's fantastic. Uh, what kind, Actually, how much? How many monarch points do I generate? Um, 144. That is... Eh. Alright, well, that's, that's fine, I suppose. I only get 7... Only seven admin, eight military, ten diplo, which is fine. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to just integrate these guys. We cannot integrate Jermian. I would prefer to integrate them than Trebizond, but we can't because they are super rebellious right now. And I don't think there's gonna be a way for me to fix that unless I get rid of the relative strength of vassal stuff and built up an army. Yep. So that's that's what we're gonna have to do. We're going to start off the bat. We're going to annex Trebizond. I'm going to call back that guy. And the guy from Jermian as well. Figure out something else to do with our diplomats. In terms of other vassals, though, I would not mind going to war with Castile. Uh, I did when I did look around the map. We have a truce with Ragusa ending in about four years or so. When that ends, I'm going to conquer that last province. And it's going to put us into war with Castile. I'm going to take as much land as I can from Castile here in Italy. If I can't get all of these provinces, then I'm going to try to break some alliances. I'm going to release Naples. We're going to, we're going to release Naples. We're going to use Naples to conquer Italy. That is that is my plan. Uh, for now, we are friendly-ish with Aragon. And I don't know how long that's going to last. Especially when they probably will become Spain. Because <laughs> uh, as soon as we weaken Castile, they're probably going to attack Castile. As soon as their truce ends with them. And they're just going to take more land. And looks like they're eating Portugal. Dear Lord, Aragon is kind of scary. Uh, not as scary as France. That is also the truth. And we are indeed catching up with Russia. In terms of development. Which is also really, really good to see. Alright, let's just let some time pass. Uh, we, we've got our... We're just going to have to sit on our thumbs for a little while. I'm a bold fighter. Land leader shock plus one. Awesome. Uh, 
sure, Austria, you can come through my land. And we are building heavy ships, it looks like. Do we really need these heavy ships? Ugh. That's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I, I don't think Trebizond is going to um get really rebellious at the moment. Uh, we could pay off their debt, which could help. Do you have debt? You do have debt. Good. I, I will pay off your debt, Jermian. That will help you like me a little bit more. I will also pay off Trebizond's debt if we need to. Because I'm not sure. Currently annexing our vassal. Uh, let's improve relations with Hungary. And perhaps Russia? Yes, let's improve with Russia. Ooh, hello. With the union of the musical gamer the third and Theodora, we've gained not only a spouse, but a new ally in the realm. Sweet. Cool. Uh, Zeta. And we have a new heir. Already. A 630. Well. Oop. I keep doing that. Miswan Jr. Congratul- No. Congratulations. You are alive again. I- don't know how well that's going to last because I think we're only what 15 I th I think we're only 15 right yeah we're only 15 oh uh, no I he's gonna be so old when he inherits if he doesn't die before then oh god it, you know, it could be worse I guess uh, what is our mission actually if our reserves need to recover which is fine I suppose I would honestly not mind having a better mission though because this is going to take a while unless we can speed it up a little bit with the nobility we can raise additional levies do we want to do that oh hello what the hell is this ho ho whoa 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 why are the burgers so influential what the hell a plutocratic coup have no current disasters we oh we're in an internal conflicts what how did this happen I I'm not sure goods produced go down it's actually not that horrible uh, stability cost modifier is up which is less than good do I just pull myself out of this if I do then we'll have to deal with this plutocratic coup you have any modifiers dropping off control provinces 30 development center of trade oh my god yeah you have tons of modifiers I think we're gonna just let them sit for a while wait what conspiracies oh god is this because of the um, internal conflicts wait wait a minute Uh, until, oppose our monarch until the end, which gives us minus one national unrest. What is our national unrest? It's actually not that bad. I don't understand. What what are we doing here? We get yearly legitimacy, which we don't need. We'll have to fight even more people. Burgess and Kokeli? Um, how about we turn our forts on in the area? Because I'm a little nervous. I will just let time tick for a bit. Uh, as we raise maintenance. Dear Lord, this is not what I had in mind. Uh, okay, I was thinking about army composition earlier. What is it that I need? We have a force limit of 32, and we have 10 in the front row already. We need, like... Oh, God. Okay, we need... <laughs> we, 
We need 20 infantry and 2 cav to fill out the front row. Okay then. Well, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it from here. We are one short. This is fine. Oh, just hurry back, guys. We uh, we need we need men. And we have a decent-ish leader, no shock, which is unfortunate. And we have tech. Diplotech. Oh, what uh, ideas we have? Offensive ideas, nice. That's a good call. That is a very good call. And he finished off influence ideas, which is great as well. So I have no issues taking this tech. No issues whatsoever. I... Do we want National Unrest minus one for the remainder of this conflict sort of thing? I don't think it really matters. Everything else seems fine. I'd just rather have to fight the fewer people. And France rivaled us, apparently. All right, that's fine. Uh, we'll have to rival them back. Castile is no longer a valid rival. Uh, we'll embargo them in a minute. What do you have? You have 28 in the front row. Fortification effort. Do we get... Uh, Bosnia will get local defensiveness plus 10%. Till the end of the game. Or lose a prestige. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's cheap. I might as well. And of course, there is attrition over here. Supply limit is not good enough. We no longer claim hum. What? Oh, bullcrap. Uh, okay. How about it? Recruit one more actual regiment over here. Look at you trying to march on Constantinople. What the? Hold on. Is this a... It's still a level 2 fort. That is less than good. Okay, we have... 30 in the front row. You have 28. So we will actually flank a little bit. And we have one more cannon. This battle should be okay. They have a 0201. I'm just going to slow down a bit. It's a good roll to start. That's a fantastic roll. Nice. Look at the deaths. Oh my god. Nicolos Angelos. Or Angelos. You are. A legend among men, good sir. You have crushed this rebellion. Uh, they are marching to Adirn. You shall die now. How about it? Are they... They're all gone. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Uh, I'm also going to spend the money to upgrade the fort here in Constantinople. That province is too valuable to not have defended properly. Uh, meanwhile, we need to get rid of this embargo here on Castile. Uh, where is... Where is economic? Oh, there it is. Revoke. And we need to place one on France. Why the hell we have Chinese music playing We're over here? No. Next. Next. That works. <laughs> I, I normally don't care. It's just it just feels weird to me. A little little weird and it breaks the immersion. Um just just ever so slightly. No sense in paying for the army at the moment. Uh how about you? You are you did go down in Liberty Desire because of my 
army. My army has, like, sprung up like crazy. So there's no reason for you to be as uppity as you were before. I mean, like, 0.3 in trade income is pretty decent. Um, what was I thinking? Uh, right, right, right. We're going to want some claims here on Good Oak Steel. Uh, knowledge is power. In another year or two, I think we'll get rid of the uh, eternal internal conflicts. Because I'm a little worried as to things popping up that shouldn't be. Unrest is, like, totally fine. But I, I, I'm still nervous. I, I can't remember what kind of events spawn because of internal conflicts. I don't even know how this happened. Uh... Do we want to keep our relationship with Hungary? I don't know, honestly. Uh, I will bring back our guy from Russia. How old are you? You're 15. So... N it, it's going to be a moot point, really. Who dies first, me or him? I'm, what, like 16, 17 at this point? Her legitimacy, her legitimacy is fantastic. I don't know. I I suppose so. We're going to have to break these ties with them at some point. Um the hungry can't be allowed to exist much longer. <laughs> they're going to they're going to have to die a painful death. Uh right, I need to actually fabricate another claim on Ragusa as well. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, build spy network. We need to get another claim on them. Our, oh, actually, do we really need to? We have the um, cleanse heresy thing, so we don't need the CB. Land leader shock, more, or even better generals. That is also an idea I should probably think of getting some generals. Uh, what leaders do we have? We have two admirals and one general. Okay. Hold on. I think it would actually be better to give you this guy. I think there's something about um, maneuver. If you have an admiral and a trade fleet, I think their maneuver pips increase your trade value or your your uh, projection generated by your fleet. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember that part very well. Ah, oh, we can build universities. That is glorious. Uh, we shall do that. One in our capital, for sure. Um, how about one up over here? End of the English Civil War. All right, fair enough. I think it's about time to get these internal conflicts over with. Alright, we still have two claims there. I would not mind getting maybe one more. Wow, Bari's actually a really good city. Or a good province. Hmm. I would not mind getting one more claim. Which is going to take 30 spine network strength. We're almost there. Uh, let's hold on. I was thinking about something. What was I thinking about? I was going to do something. Crap. What was I going to do? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh. Oh, that's... That's your... That's your deal, Trebizond. I'm probably going to need to do something, though. Would be my guess. Our truce with Castile and Ragusa is over. Fantastic. Now we just need to declare war, I think, right? 
do we do that now? I think we'll wait for that claim. I don't think we actually need the spy network strength. Yeah, because Steel would hop in. But, I mean, who who cares? <laughs> it's kind of all I could think of. It's like, who cares if they hop in? I'm not particularly scared of especially of Ragusa and especially Castile. Hold on, what, what is their army strength? They have 38,000 men. 24,000 in the bank. Uh, our armies are actually relatively even at the moment. Now that I think about it. I still think we'd win, but it might be a little more difficult than I thought. What is their navy? I actually wouldn't be too surprised if they have a decent navy. Yeah, six heavies, 15 lights, no galleys. Okay. And they only have uh, 16 transports. Once again, not too scared about that. Um, how about yes to Lucania? 50 admin sounds nice as well. Uh, I think it's time to, to get rid of this stupid thing. Ah, we got another stability. The end of internal conflicts. Do we want more? No, we still have to pay an extra 50%. That's a horrible deal. Instability of the past years now finally seems to be over. Cool. So now we have this to worry about, but we have one modifier dropping off next year. Actually, in just a couple months, which is not too bad. Okay, when it rains, it pours happiness. That is not at all what I thought I was going to see happen. Let's fund the army again. Uh, can we get two more cav? I don't know why I did that with the mission thing, because it's going to just cancel as soon as I declare war. Damn it, now I actually have to wait. Uh, or maybe I should just wait until I get a conquer certain area mission. That might not be a bad idea. The burgers will gain... Hold on. Aren't you having um, a modifier drop off? You did. Where did it... Why didn't it do anything? Make them lose influence and loyalty. I would love... Isn't Venice already under your control? It's not! What the hell? I would love to... This is just a fantastic thing to do. But how do I deal with their... um Influence at that point? It's going to give them a ticking thing of three per month. When are they going to lose influence again? In 36. In five years. It's that's not good. They're, they're going to rebel for sure. It's just going to give them more influence. 16% influence. Oh my god. As great as this would be, I don't think I can do it. I know they're just loyal game. I'm aware. It's nothing I can do about that, though. I'm not even going to give them the province yet. Not until those other stupid modifiers drop off.
Jeez. All right. Well, uh, okay. We got our cav. We can now just afford to get some cannons as well, actually. Five cannons? Sounds good. And then I think we'll declare war. Trebizond is almost done being integrated, too. We're getting there. Okay, well, the army, I think, is ready. I believe we're ready to go. And we will march on Ragusa, and then followed by Castile, next time on Let's Play EU4, Byzantine Succession. This is the Musical Gamer. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.